Hi guys, my name is Guru. In this video, we're going to talk about the new features announced for watchOS and macOS in WWDC 2020. I already made a video about iOS 14 and iPadOS 14. Link will be in the description below, so check that out. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about watchOS. In watchOS 7, faces are more customizable. You can also create your own watch face and you can share your watch face to social media sites like Facebook and Instagram or you can send it to others via iMessage. With watchOS 7, there's a new sleep tracking feature which will track your sleep but I am concerned about the battery life of the watch. Apple says that it will remind you to charge if your watch is 30% near bedtime. You'll also get an iPhone notification when your watch is fully charged. There are some new fitness features like new featured workouts like core training. There's also a new dance workout which will track your dancing and will show information like calories burned, etc. There's a new hand motion feature which will be automatically enabled by hearing the sound of the water coming from the tap. It will start a 20 second timer when you start washing your hands. The activity app has also got a new name. It's called Fitness. Now, let's move on to macOS Big Sur. There are new app announcements like sidebars and refresh toolbars like an iPad OS. There's also a new refresh look to the dock. I personally like the old dock because the icons in macOS Big Sur are not as good looking as in macOS Catalina. There's also a new control center for Mac where you can access settings like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth without going into the system preferences. You can drag and drop your favorite control to the menu bar and you can customize it too. There's also a new notification center with widgets and notifications so that you can glance at your notifications in just a single view. There's some new features for Safari like better performance on optimization. You can also customize your start page with a custom background. You can also add web extensions to Safari. There are new improved tab design where you can glance at a tab without opening the tab. It's very helpful if you're a person who uses multiple tabs. You can also translate the tabs if it's in a language you don't know. The features available for messages in iOS 14 are also available for macOS. The features available for maps in iOS 14 are also available for macOS Pixel. But the biggest announcement in WWDC 2020 is the transition from Intel-based chips to Apple's own ARM-based chips. The iPhone has Apple's own chipsets and the performance is great. The iPad has Apple chips and the performance was amazing. Now with the integration of Apple Silicon, the Mac's performance might be great too. With Apple Silicon, Apple says that they'll give the highest amount of power with less power consumption. With this now, we'll not hear the voice of a jet engine while you're exporting 4K files in Final Cut Pro. The gaming performance might also be great with Apple Silicon. You might also get rid of the FaceTime face -time webcams in older Macs. There's a transition period of 2 years and the first Mac will ship later this year. The ship that they showed in the presentation is called the Apple A12 Bionic chip which they used in the new 2020 iPads. Craig Federighi showed a Final Cut Pro 10 project with 3 4K ProRes videos and the performance was smooth. But I have a question. So, if the chip used in the Mac is the same as the chip used in the iPad Pro, why can't they release Final Cut Pro on iPads? The future of the Mac look bright and I'm waiting to use a Mac with Apple Silicon. I thought they might release some hardware products like they did in WWDC 2019 with the new Mac Pro, but it's okay. So, there you have it guys. These were the new features announced for watchOS and macOS in WWDC 2020. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to receive notifications on my latest videos. Thank you.